If you don't think diversity means anti-white and anti-male, then you are deluding yourself. In this day and age, if there are any fields that are male-dominated, it's considered a problem, and it's quite common to hear that women are underrepresented in those fields. The perfect example of this would be the STEM fields. Oh, we need more women in STEM. But what about fields that are female-dominated? You never hear that we need more male sign language interpreters or more male elementary school teachers because they are underrepresented. Either way, it shouldn't matter if certain fields are male or female dominated. Equality of opportunities is not the same as equal outcomes. But if you are going to complain that females are underrepresented, then you should at least be consistent and call out any underrepresentation of men. Speaking of STEM, shout out to Anti-Fem Comics. I always get a kick out of this one. It really sums it up nicely. Nothing was stopping you from majoring in STEM. Maybe you should have registered for some STEM classes instead of enrolling in that useless gender studies class. Anyway, if there's a female majority, not only is that not considered unfair like it would be if the genders were flipped, but it would be celebrated as being, quote, diverse. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. This is the Budify website. Take a look at this section. Diversity is something that is very important to us. Why? Not only does having a diverse team make a better product, no, having a talented and productive team makes a better product. If the team ends up being what you would call diverse, then fine, but it doesn't need to be. It also means that people who use our app will have a better chance of seeing themselves represented. What does that even mean? Who the hell is going on this app and thinking, am I represented when I use this app? It's not an election, it's an app. There's a better chance that people are going to think to themselves, would I use this app? Or do I like it? Rather than, is my demographic represented here? That really matters. No, it really doesn't. At all. That is why our core team is gender balanced, and perhaps most importantly, our roster of 14 teachers slash voices is 60% female and 35% people of color. And there you have it. Notice how they gave the percentage for female and people of color. Because that is what diversity means. They could have given the percentages as 40% male and 65% white, but they didn't do that because diversity is about sweeping white males under the rug as much as possible. Notice how a female majority, in this case 60%, is being touted as a positive thing. If it had been 60% male, then it wouldn't be diverse. That wouldn't be posted on their website as some kind of selling point. It would be called sexist. We still have blind spots, of course. Yeah, I suppose they do. They need to get that people of color percentage up much higher, and that 40% male is pretty good, but that has room to be lower. But as we grow, we hope to continue to do so in such a way that the diversity of our people match the diversity of our community, because ultimately, they are the same thing. Again, why does this matter? Why does the diversity have to match? This isn't picking out an outfit, it's an app. I know I'm going to get some SJWs comment on this video who completely miss the point and say, well, the real question is, why are you so opposed to diversity? I guess you just want white male majority everywhere. I'm opposed to people placing so much emphasis on these outcomes. So my issue isn't that they have 60% female, it's the fact that they feel the need to even bring it up at all. And the fact that they tout a female majority as a positive thing, meanwhile a male majority, would be called sexist. So do tell us how we can do better. Well, you can do better by stop focusing on stuff that doesn't matter. I work for a company that has a few different offices. I work at the smallest of these offices, and this one is mostly male. During one of our meetings, we got into groups and talked about what were some of the good things about working for the company and what could be improved. One girl said that there should be more women. That boggled my mind on so many levels because one, imagine a man saying that very same thing in a female dominated office. He would come off as sexist by saying that, but a woman can say that with no fear whatsoever as coming off as sexist. Two, how exactly do you think we're gonna get more women? The solution to this non-problem involves discrimination. So if, let's say, a hiring decision comes between an equally qualified man and woman, the job would just be given to the woman simply because of her gender. And three, while it is true that this small office is male-dominated, the bigger offices of this company are significantly female-dominated. Anytime I had to get my work reviewed, a woman would review it. For the most part, I'd be reporting to a female. Now, of course, I have no issue with it being female-dominated, but for her to say that the company needs even more women just because the smallest office is male-dominated, meanwhile the company as a whole is female-dominated, it's just unreal that she would have the nerve to even say that. Another thing that grinds my gears is the fact that we still have needless organizations that are geared towards women. For instance, college campuses have organizations like Women in Business, 
and women in accounting. And of course, they don't have a men in business or men in accounting organization, yet there does exist an all-female accounting firm. No complaints about a lack of diversity here. Of course not. It's 100% women. You can't get much more diverse than that. Of course, there's no all-male accounting firms, and you know damn well that if there were any, there'd definitely be some outrage over that. Speaking of female companies, check out this clip from Shark Tank. One day, I hope to be the best company in America for women to work for. As far as women have come in the corporate world, I think there's still a long ways to go, and I want to be the one to make that change happen. I'm living proof that hard work and persistence pay off in a big way. Thank you, Shark Tank. Hey, Shark Tank! Stay smooth! Woo! So in summary, if you are a company that ended up hiring mostly men, you are considered sexist, even though you didn't particularly seek out men. But you can be an all-female company like this accounting firm, and you can say that you are specifically wanting to hire primarily women, like the Shark Tank girl did, and we're all just expected to smile. You expect me to smile? You remind me of a jackass.